Alrighty guys, good morning. It's Madman Mandela coming at you live from the Garden Hill Garage here in beautiful Alabama. Alrighty, now, I've been a bit quiet uh, lately because I've been uh, doing some testing on single board computers. Um, because, well, you know I build retro arcade machines as well as Xboxes as well as everything else under the freaking sun. Alright, so, anyway, today, um, you know, I've been testing some things because I wanted to go ahead and see how cheap we can actually build a main machine, okay, to run, you know, Hyperspin, RetroPie, all that kind of good stuff. So, anyway, I had a uh, couple small, uh, couple small SBCs come in. All right. Now, as you know, I've been testing with the Raspberry Pi Four. Okay. Now, this thing is—it's it, an awesome machine. It is freaking awesome. Okay. Runs great. Runs Linux out of the box. I, I mean, the thing is just, it, it's an awesome little machine. When you couple it with an SSD drive, the thing is unbelievable, okay? I mean, it runs great, okay? I've even got uh, KVM, uh, you know, kernel virtualization in, enabled on it now on 18.04 uh, server. So, I mean, you know, it's, it's absolutely fabulous. Then I had this little uh, member come in here, okay? Now, this is an Odroid N2. This little machine is another crazy thing, okay? The Pi is cheap. This one's about 120 bucks, all right? However, though, it's got 4 gig of RAM on it. It's got twin A73 Cortex processors and twin A53 Cortex processors. I'm going to be doing some testing with this thing. I'm taking it for a ride because this thing is really like a real, really bad butt computer right here, okay? I mean, I'm, 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 I can't wait to... To get this thing going here, all right. It's got built-in IR. It's got it's got everything. The thing is great, and it's also got a massive heatsink on it. You know, I mean, so that one should be really good. And then we have the Atomic Pi. Okay, yeah. All right. Now this thing shows some promise. All right, uh, running. It's an x86. The, what it is, it's a defunct robot brain, okay, and a company bought it up, and it's a kickstart program, and they're getting funded, and, you know, they, they've they got this, in the, and they're saying, you know, hey, you know, more CPU, more I.O., less cash, blah, 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 you know, I mean, all well and great and wonderful, okay. Uh, for the most part, x86 Atom processor, well, runs, runs really good, okay, I mean, it really does. It's got two gigs of RAM on it, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get to that, all right? Uh, it, it should run, should run, you can run, you can run it up to 2 gigahertz, you know, and it'll be okay. Um, it's got a lot of features. It's, it's a nice machine, don't get me wrong, all right? Uh, for Linux, it'll be stellar, okay? As far as Windows, they say, oh, it runs Windows 10. Yeah, it does run Windows 10, I will say that. That's all I'm going to say. All right, uh, it's got some, it's, it's got capabilities, don't get me wrong. Uh, I'm running Windows 10 64-bit on it, all right? Now, the problem with that is most programs are 32-bit. A lot of times, you know, when you're doing heavy, intensive memory programming, you know, you're video editing, you're running Visual Studios or whatever, you know, I mean, 64-bit does come into play, but for the most part, 32-bit does. Now, now the problem, one of the problems with this thing is, is that the instruction set. Okay, you got 32-bit. Okay, f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f so on and so forth. All right, so it's going to run through that instruction set, but because it is running in 64-bit mode, it's got to finish the instruction set out. So what does it do after it reaches the threshold of 32-bit? Well, it pads it with zeros. So now this thing has to run out the full 64-bit instructions. So what does that do? Well, number one, it hits the memory. Number two, the instruction set is, it, 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 it's longer, therefore it's slower. Okay, and, you know, trying to get a 32-bit OS on this thing has been a nightmare. All right, because the simple fact is, is the drivers, all right. It, you got to make a boot mode for it. It, it, should, it. it took me a while just to make a bootloader make this thing work all, work off of an SSD drive, okay? Because the SD card, forget it. Windows 10 and an SD card, no. The EMMC, very little memory. I mean, you know, no. You, you, you can't. It's not enough. So anyway, uh, what I did was is I coupled that with an MSATA class drive, 256 gig, okay? A uh, Shinestar um, adapter, 
which is plugged into USB 3.0. Now this has only got one USB port 3.0 and one USB 2.0. You're going to need, if you're going to get this thing, you're going to need, you know, a USB extension ports, okay? But anyway, all right, tell you what we're going to do. All right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to fire this thing up. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here, okay? Because, you know, I want you all to know what, you know, they say, oh, it runs Windows 10, it does this, it does that. Yeah, but what they don't do is they don't show you it running. They just show you Windows 10 on it. That's it. Let me show you what happens here. We're going to plug this thing in, all right? Now, it's got BIOS, it's got a battery on board, you know, I mean, so... I, it, it's got some good options, don't get me wrong. HDMI out, you know, I mean, it's, it's great and wonderful, okay? You know, as you can see, it's a product. It, it's, a, it's an associated company with, with a Asus, and Asus does make some good stuff, okay? But this was a, a dead robot brain that somebody grabbed hold of and decided, hey, let's, let's see if we can run computer software on it and everything and, you know, get rid of all the stock that we have in it. <laughs> so that's what they did. Now, this is running off the SSD drive. Okay, that, this is the reason why I'm able to do this within this video time span. Okay, because if it was the SD card, we would be here for an hour trying to just boot up. Okay, because it did that. Right? It sucked. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to see Windows 10 come up. Please wait, blah, blah, blah. There you go. Okay, and you know, as you can see, there it is. There's, there's Windows 10. It's booting up into it. And yes, it's this machine right here. As you can see, it's all blinking and everything. Okay, no funny tricks. Yeah. I'm going to show you why, why that's come up, okay, all right, anyway, okay, now look, what I wanted to do was, is I wanted to couple this with Hyperspin, okay, now, uh, I noticed a couple other things too, as you can see, this is spinning circle, because it's running background programs, okay, anyway, we'll open up the task manager, okay, just to, all right, and uh, let's see here, we'll hit performance, okay, now, as you can see, we're at 1.67 gigahertz, okay? Utilization, you know, is up and down, all right? The memory right now is at 84% because it's still running background processes, okay? As you can see, we're, we're up there. Now it's dropped down to 58%, okay, so on and so forth. Let's see if we move the mouse, what happens here? You know, I mean, you know, yeah, yeah, okay. So anyway, yeah, all right. Now, here's what I'm getting at here, okay? Look. Let's say I want to run Hyperspin on this thing, okay, which happens to be, you know, a an emulator, all right? Now, so we'll kick off Hyperspin, all right? Now, we'll minus this out so we can see what's going to happen here. As you can see, the memory is going up now. Now, we're at 63%. The CPU is starting to get taxed a little bit. There we go. We're at 44%. Now, we're at 84%, 97%, 99%, 100%. The memory's at 68%. Alright? And, as you can see, we're, um, yeah, utilization 100%. You know, I mean, it's it's going off the, yeah, it's going off the chain here, okay? And we're at 68% for the memory. Alright? Now, being honest, okay, I mean, if you, I, I, I could just imagine trying to run a Dreamcast on here, or even the PS3 emulator, um, the GameCube emulator, uh, it's, you're going to have, I don't know, all right, now, if they had maybe a 32-bit Windows 7 version on this thing, it would probably help, and that would cut down on the memory, memory utilization, but, you know, they say Windows 10, okay, so that's the reason why I'm doing this, okay, okay, we got Windows 10, look, the CPU is getting off the scale here, okay, and we're at 90, but yeah, yeah, it, it's like, it's like crazy, but we're at 68% memory, okay, so, it does, you know, it works, okay, it does work, um, you know, I mean, it's very slow, you know, I mean, say, I, I mean, it's all there, okay, it does work, all right, now, like I said, I have yet to build a Windows, um, 7, uh, ISO for this thing and see how that does on it, okay, but anyway, as you can see, you know, we used a lot of memory there, we used a lot of CPU right there just to do that, okay, now, tell you what, for simple time, because they say it runs Windows 10. Well, yes, it is running, okay? They, they're not lying about that. But what I am going to do is I'm going to show you something here. Nope, well, yeah, I know, my browser, yeah, it closed unexpectedly. Okay, now there's our browser, okay? Now, as you can see, the memory, you know, the browsers are a memory hog, okay? We got, we got a CPU, and eh, we're running 63%, okay? Now, 
tell you what we'll do. All right, let's do this, okay? We will go to YouTube. Oop. Okay. Now, we're at YouTube, okay? Let's let's do a video, okay? Let's do let's do this one here. The reason why I chose all lit up was because this thing does need a line of cocaine to be able to keep up, okay? <laughs> right now. All right. Here we go. We'll click this. All right. And it's going to play. Hopefully. Okay. Yeah, video will play after the ad. Here we go with the ads. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, YouTube, you're killing me here, okay? Anyway. All right. So, we have this running here now. All right. Our memory usage right now is at 74%. Okay? Now, it will go full screen, too. All right. As you can see. And, um, you know, I mean, yeah. Not bad. Intel HD graphics, you know. I mean, it, 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 you know, it does all right. We're going to throttle that back down. We're going to make a smaller window for this thing, okay? Right. Come on, grab the damn thing. There we go. Okay? So, as you can see, I mean, it, it plays. Okay. Now, tell you what we'll do. We're going to open up another tab. Okay, right now we're at 74% memory. Okay, now. All right. Let's go to uh, eBay. Yeah. Okay, while wow, that's playing. Okay. Now, our memory usage went to 79%. And um, as you can see, this little puppy right here is starting to get off the chain here now. Okay. Now, there. Now, mind you, I can't even scroll yet because it's still loading. All right. CPU is getting spiked. The memory is, is, is getting killed, okay? We're at 79%, all right? Now, finally, this thing, yeah, okay. Now, here we are, okay? We're at 79%. Now, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll open up one more tab, okay? Just one more, all right? And uh, let's see here. Yeah, let's go to Reddit, okay? While the video is playing, I'm on you, okay? Now, okay, our memory now has hit 84%. Now it's at 89%, okay? CPU is really, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's working, okay? It is working. Utilization, 100%, you know, I mean, you know. But remember, this is, a, this is an SBC card, okay? It's an SBC computer, so it's, you know. Now, mind you, it's, it's working, okay? I mean... But, like I said, we're at 89%, me you know, 89% memory, and it's very non, it, it's not very responsive, okay? And if we get a website that does a lot of things, as you can see, it's really, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're almost topped out here, okay? And I have a feeling if I open up another tab, all right, let's go to, uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, let's go to the weather trail, what the hell? Okay, that's very intensive. All right. A problem with this web page, Internet Explorer to close and reopen the tab. Okay, yeah, I'm sure. Because of the memory. Okay, we'll hit it again. An exception. Unknown software exception occurred in the application. The location. Yeah. Because why? Well, we're getting said for us now. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's, it's going to crash. Okay, yeah, and there it goes. So... <laughs> <laughs> okay, and that's just with some web browsers. It, it's trying. Okay, there. It, it just it just made it back. All right. As you can see, the memory is about off the chain. Okay. All right. Okay. We're gonna close this all out. All right, because yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. It, it, it made it. It made it. Oh boy. Yeah, this thing is really like. Uh, yeah. It, just killed the, the desk. Okay. Close. Yeah, I want to close all the tabs. Yeah, okay. All right. Now, okay. As you can see, look. For Linux, it'll be great. x86, wonderful. Lots of stuff out there for it. Great and wonderful, okay? But for them to advertise that it runs Windows 10, um, yes, it does run it, okay? Yeah, optimal resolution. No, yeah, it, it killed the video, too, you know, as we're at. Kill the video card. <laughs> um, 
as far as Windows 10, you know, and people showing, oh, look, it runs on Windows 10, and they just show a desktop. No. No. Don't. Don't believe it, okay? Because the only way that this thing is going to run properly is if we get hold of a Windows 7 image and we can make it work with the SSD drive. And, uh, you know, because then, then, and it's 32-bit, then it might be able to do everything that, that a Windows desktop can do, okay? Maybe, all right? Even at that, I don't know because I haven't tested it enough. And, you know, I don't want to spend too much time on it. Because uh, I've got a lot of RGHs that I've got to get done. So, you know, but for the most part, okay, it is a cool little machine. I love it. It's really nice, okay, and I'm going to experiment with it a lot more later on, okay, because I want I, I want to see if we can actually build a main machine that's going to actually run with this, okay. Um, But as far as a desktop Windows machine, uh, no. Just right now, no. It's not happening, okay? You, you can see what's going to happen when you start to do things with it, okay? I mean, it's, it, it, you know, even with a single browser, with you, you know, running, running, just, just going from what, the memory gets spiked really bad. The thing gets really slow, okay? So, you know, I mean, at idle, we're running 53%. I, I, I mean, look, it should be right around maybe 30% for a small, for, for an SBC, but this is... Nah, if they put four gigs of RAM on it, it would have been it would have been fine, but they didn't because, like I said, it's a defunct robot brain. <laughs> so, as for the Atomic Pi, um, running Linux, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna test that too, and it should Linux will run just fine on it. I know it will. But as for Windows 10, if you're looking to buy this thing to put Windows 10 on it, uh, until somebody comes out with a 32-bit image and that can control the memory a little better. Uh, don't because you're not going to be happy all right it does have bluetooth it does have wi-fi it's got a breakout board on it as you can see you can do experiments with it you can do some things with it there, there's a lot to do with it but as far as a desktop computer linux yeah windows no boy you're in for it so anyway i just wanted to uh show you guys this i'll be doing the next one is going to be an o2 uh is going to be the n2 uh droid right here which is four gig with, like I said, a cluster of processors on it. So this thing should run really, really like a red tape. All right, so we'll see what happens. But anyway, listen, thanks guys for watching. Greatly appreciate it. You all have a great day, and um, I'm on to doing some RGHs now. So anyway, listen, you all have a good one. Holler at you later. Have a great weekend. Well, what's left of it anyway.